Every single one of us needs movement in our day. 30 minutes of movement per day is required just to maintain health and stay well. And today we're going to talk about functional fitness and how it helps you. I'm here to give you a dose of tough love. Yeah. And to do that, I want to make a little bit of fun of myself to help you see that it happens to everybody. So back many years ago, I had a smoke detector go out in my attic. And that smoke detector beep was going off and going off and going off. So I needed to get up there and change the battery. When I did, I walked up there to change out the battery and I had a bit of a fear that something might happen. So I made sure that both of my boys were at my house just in case. I go up into my attic with battery in hand and I'm going to change the battery out in the smoke detector. And when I did that, I was walking back across the attic and I slipped and fell through the ceiling onto my desk right in front of my son. How did that happen? First of all, I lost my balance. Second of all, I am kind of clumsy, but I ended up on my desk. My point in telling you this is I was not injured. I could have broken an ankle. I could have broken my booty. I had a cut on my wrist. I could have broken my wrist. But the reason why I think that that did not happen is because my functional fitness was intact. In fact, I have been teaching functional fitness for many years. And what is functional fitness exactly? I want you to think of how do you want to function today? Like when you wake up in the morning, that should be the first question you ask. How do I want to function today? And that's what we're going to talk about today. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Kathy Owen. I have been a certified fitness trainer and life coach since 2002. On this channel, we talk about entrepreneurship, productivity, having a growth mindset, healthy habits, fitness, and even some reality transurfing. Today, we're talking about functional fitness. Again, how do you want to function today? That would be the question that would be answered and let you know how you need to work on your functional fitness. 100% of us across the board need movement in our days. It is recommended that we do at least 30 minutes of exercise or 150 minutes per week to stay healthy. Our bones, muscles, and nervous system need movement to stay healthy. And the opposite of movement is stagnation. And nothing except illness and disease survives in a stagnant environment. If you're not moving 30 minutes a day, you are missing out on tremendous health benefits. Physical activity can improve your cognitive health. Researchers have shown it across the board. It's helping you think, learn, and problem solve and enjoy emotional balance. It can improve memory and reduce anxiety or depression. But you don't have to be a fitness guru to reap the benefits. And any amount of physical activity can help. Being physically active can improve your brain health. It can help manage your weight. It can reduce the risk of disease, strengthen bones and muscles, and improve ability to do everyday activities. Enter functional fitness. Functional fitness is a classification of training that prepares the body for real life movements and activities. Functional fitness trains your muscles to work together and prepares them for daily tasks by simulating common movements you might do at home, at work, or in sports. Movements such as squatting, reaching, pulling, and lifting will be made easier with functional fitness integrated into your exercise routine. Functional fitness is focused on building a body capable of doing real-life activities in real life positions, not just lifting a certain amount of weight in an idealized posture created by a gym machine. For example, you could be deadlifting 400 pounds. 
in the gym, but you go to put a suitcase in the back of your car and you throw out your back. Or you can bicep curl with 50 pound dumbbells with perfect form, but picking up your child makes you pull a muscle. If either of these sound like you, it may be time to incorporate functional fitness training into your routine. The Ozone Fitness Center is now a functional fitness gym, but you don't even have to go to a gym to perform functional fitness. If you are going from a stagnant place, it is recommended that you enter into the program slowly. You can easily do this from home. Here is a quick 10-minute workout that you can do in the Ozone or at home to ensure your functional fitness is on track. Five minutes of movement on the bike, treadmill, or elliptical. Oh, by the way, walking to the ozone can count as your five minutes of movement to warm up. Focus on your heart rate, and we're going to talk about that next month, but take your heart rate up and bring it down and get that cardiovascular system working. Practice deep breathing and do just a few in between those short, shallow breaths as you start to give your body some exertion. Number two, five minutes of slow training on one of the following machines, the chest press machine or push up on the wall or a counter. This will help strengthen your pectoral muscles and biceps and triceps. Another one that's good to do is the seated row or pulling a band towards you and squeezing the shoulder blades in the back. And then squatting using the TRX bands or a functional trainer, or you can just do slow sits and stands in your chair. Those are squats and they help to warm up the hip. Slow training or the perfect workout is a great way to start warming up your muscles and getting them from, from stagnant to movement. What is slow training? Slow training is what I learned at what is called the perfect workout. And it really is one of the best workouts you can do, no matter if you're starting from nothing or you are fit. So what you do is you exert the muscle on a very slow, 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 slow basis. And you bring it back in on a slow, slow basis. By doing this, you are working the muscle and making it work more actively. You can tighten up and really do it really slow and bring it back really slow. And that will equal one rep. Try to do two to three of these on day one and continue working a little harder every single day. You want to pick big muscle groups like the uh, chest and the back and the glutes or all of your legs. When you're doing a squat, you're pretty much working all of your legs. And when you do slow training on these big muscle groups, it works even more because actually when you're training a big muscle group like the chest, other muscles kick in to help. So if you're coming from no exercise, gradually build your time up to that 30 minute level. It is recommended that you build up this movement one to three minutes at a time until you have built up to the strength and conditioning to work more. Start at 10 minutes and by day 5 to 10, you'll be doing 30 minutes of exercise. I want you to think of this as a gradual process. Gradual training ensures that you release those stagnant toxins slowly. If you go from the couch to training for 30 minutes on day 1, you are likely to experience a sick feeling, which means those toxins are releasing, but it is too much for your body to do on day one. This is often the reason why people quit the workout program they just started. Please don't let that be you. So as I said, functional fitness is a way of performing your fitness in the way that your body will perform better every day. As I always say, I come from a place of sports psychology. So athletes do functional fitness as well. They want to improve their performance in their fitness. So for example, the other day I was watching Alex Bregman, it's the off season, and he was showing some of his functional fitness that he performs. He was doing torso rotations. He was throwing the medicine ball against the wall and helping with his swing posture. Well, what does that mean for you? It means that 
your posture is probably one of the most important components of your fitness, second to your heart and cardiovascular system. So your posture is all about how you want to stand and perform your exercises. Always consider your posture first, but now the ozone has what is called TRX bands. And with the TRX band, you can slowly do a squat and slowly stand up. Your range of motion may be different from mine. And that means you build on that. And it doesn't matter what your age is or what your physical condition is, provided your doctor said you can perform exercise. Absolutely get on the TRX system and use it to help you improve your posture, your range of motion, and work those muscles so that they're getting different types of movement and getting circulation in there and opening up the stagnant or getting your posture to open up to a more healthy fashion. All right, how will you improve your functional fitness this year? Remember, not one single person is excluded from the 30 minutes of movement per day. And it will not only improve your health and wellness, but it'll also improve your mindset because you will start releasing those healthy chemicals in the brain that help sustain you all day long. And to me, that is a big plus for functional fitness. As always, be sure to consult your physician before starting any exercise program. Here's to your health. All right, that's my episode for today. I hope you liked it. If you know someone who could benefit from this, please share it with them. And until next time, I will see you next time. Peace out and namaste.